good morning vlog today is sunday and we are about to go eat some food so i thought we would bring you guys along with us it's a place that we've never tried before so we're trying it for the first time and it's an indian restaurant which we love indian food but we don't go out to eat it that often so definitely looking forward to it we're very hungry and also i think we're gonna go to h mart after because there's a few things i want to pick up so let's go let's go okay we just pulled up to non-point that's where we're gonna eat and it's so funny because last night we were actually talking about maybe trying this place called local kitchens it's like a micro food hall that has like square pie guys sushi rito they have like different vendors in there and we decided to try non-point instead of the local kitchen suites, but they're literally right next to each other which is so funny and this is also right next to youtube headquarters <laughs> got their mango lassi bird every time we get indian food he has to get mango lassi i wonder what that red stuff is some sort of syrup not bad kind yeah. of reminds me of sago sago yeah. mango sago a little bit without the sago yeah try it it does yeah <laughs> it's kind of like mango sago without sago, sago vibes but it's more like yogurty mm. all right so some of our food just came we got the tandoori chicken i hope bird's gonna squeeze the lemon on top it actually smells so good too. I think it's the onions. And it's very sizzling. <laughs> Super sizzling. And then we also got some garlic naan. I already took a bite and Bird took a bite too. <laughs> Let's eat. The steam from the plate is covering up your whole face. <laughs> Grab some tandoori chicken and some of the rice. Chicken is so tender and soft. Mm. Ooh, good flavor too. Especially with that squeeze of lemon. Ooh, that is good tandoori chicken. Mm. Mm. They also just brought us our sog paneer and butter chicken. That looks so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Next, let's try butter chicken with the garlic naan. Ooh, oh. Oh man, the chicken is so soft, very tender, super flavorful. It's creamy, it's tomatoey, super good. Mm. Mm. And I like how the naan has a nice light crisp on the bottom. It has a decent garlic flavor, couldn't need more garlicky, but that's because I'm a garlic girl. I love hella, hella garlic. Sog paneer with the garlic naan. The paneer cheese is nice and like soft, but also a little bouncy. It always reminds me of like tofu texture, <laughs> but it's not, it's cheese. Everything we ordered was really good. I wish the garlic naan was more garlicky and the mango lassi, we've had better, but it was still good. Solid place. The line is so long, Bird is actually just standing in the line to check out, but I've been looking for like 10 minutes and I can't find anything that I came here for. Maybe this H Mart is not stocked with the stuff that I want. I might have to go to a different H Mart to get this, the things that I'm looking for because I cannot find the things I want. All I can find is Korean corn dogs and I have way too many of those in my freezer right now. Okay, so we just went to Shuyi Grass Jelly something. It doesn't even say the name actually on here. Well, I'll put the name on the screen. And also I always link the places in the description box or I always put the places in the description box with the address. So if you guys are ever wondering where we're eating in the vlog, just go to the description box. It's always listed there. But anyway, yeah, I got the signature grass jelly milk tea and it's so funny because on their menu and like they have signs in the store that say topping boom 
which I'm like, that sounds like something mom would like because we all know how much she likes her toppings. But anyway, this signature grass jelly milk tea comes with grass jelly, red bean, and coconut jelly. Interesting combo. Yeah, very interesting. And then Bird got, he wanted a hot drink. So he got a taro ball jasmine milk tea or something like that. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Yours is not a, a stabbing thing. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, a lot of toppings. <laughs> it's no meat fresh. Okay, oh, bird, it's not good. It's fine. I feel like the tea is a little watered down. Really? Like, there is a tea flavor. The tea flavor is strong, but it's like not sweet. It's watered down and yeah, not sweet. And you got full sugar, Yeah. so that's surprising. But the taro balls are kind of nice. It has like a, you know, that kind of taro-y flavor. Yeah, I think maybe like if you like tea flavors, you might like this place. What? You just said the tea's watered down. It, it has a strong tea flavor, but it's also kind of a watered down tea flavor. What does that even mean? Like to me, it kind of tastes like as if they made multiple batches with the same tea leaves. That's the vibe. No, it tastes more like they made a milk tea, but instead of using creamer, they mm, used they milk. Made milk, yeah. That makes sense. Because a lot of boba shops use creamer yeah. instead, or usually boba shops use creamer yeah. instead, so that way the tea flavor is still strong, mm. but you still get the creaminess of the milk, uh, creamer. Mm -hmm. But this tastes like they use milk no. instead of creamer, so it's not as creamy and it's more watery. Yeah, that's probably what they did. I don't know. <laughs> How's yours? It's not bad. Yeah. There's a lot of toppings, which obviously it has a lot of toppings, so that's part of it. But I don't know. Maybe I just don't like the red bean because I think. The milk tea is fine. The grass jelly is good. The coconut jelly is like crunchy, but I think the I red, think the bean, red was, bean is a weird choice. Was there? a bit too much, yeah. like layered with the other textures and stuff. Agreed. Yeah. Oh, and there's boba too. Hmm. I got some boba. Hmm. I took like five sips and then that, that was the first one that had boba in it. But it was not bad, it's chewy. This place I feel like is actually like on the less sweet side compared to other boba shops. Yeah. Cause bird got full sugar and it's not very sweet at all. That's just like half sugar or yeah. maybe even less. Yeah. Yeah. And then mine's not that sweet. Although the red beans and like the other toppings does add sweetness to it too. Would you go again? I think I'd go again and try something else. I do like the grass jelly though. So maybe next time I would get something Definitely and just jelly. get grass jelly mm. instead of like four toppings in one drink. But maybe mom would like it. I think next time I just get meat fresh. Oh my gosh. Bird and his meat fresh. How come we didn't get the caps? Oh yeah. We saw on Yelp that they had these bunny top cap things that were super cute, but we didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, also, yeah, I, we tried to go to H Mart and I could not find a single thing that I was looking for. I was looking for this kind of bread thing that I saw on social media. It's like a purple sweet potato bread or whatever. Mm. So I was looking for that, couldn't find it. And then I also was looking for frozen kimbap. I still haven't tried the Trader Joe's one, but I saw some people comparing the ones from H Mart to the Trader Joe's one and they like the H Mart one. Well, not that they like it better, but they like it. So since I haven't been able to try the Trader Joe's one, I wanted to try the one at H Mart because I figured it'd be in stock more often, but I wasn't able to find that either. So we're gonna have to try a different H Mart. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna drink our boba drinks, hang out with the cats. I'll probably have to do some work and then we're gonna go have dinner with my family later. <laughs> Good morning vlog! Today it is rainy, <laughs> but it's a Wednesday, so I'm going to have lunch with my family. I'm a bit worried about how rainy it is and driving in the rain, but <laughs> it's okay. I'll drive slow. But anyway, we're going to Heidi Lau, so let's go to lunch. <music> Here seated at Heidi Lau. We are here because mom discovered that they had this combo that they started doing on the weekdays during lunchtime. Is it only during lunch, mom? Yeah, so weekday Monday lunchtime, through Monday through Friday. It's a combo meal for $20 a person. You can get a whole platter of veggies, like fish cakes and different kinds of stuff on there. I'll show you guys. And then you get one plate of meat, soup base, the sauce bar, and also you can choose between rice or ramen. It's a lot of food and it's only $20 per person. So last time we came, we had 
a lot of leftovers too, so very well, well worth it. Okay, so we got three plates of beef and then one plate of fish for mom because she always wants the fish one, but the rest of us like beef. And then this is the platter that it comes with. So it has beef balls, tofu, spam, potato, shirataki noodles, imitation crab, mushrooms, seaweed, fish tofu, spinach, and some tofu skin type thing. And then this is the ramen that they give you. It's actually a lot too, and it's pretty good ramen noodles, very chewy. A lot of food. <laughs> vlog it is the next day i am about to go get my nails done because there's like regrowth like crazy and you can see my natural nails under the french tip and we're leaving to disney world soon so i want to have fresh good nails for that trip but i am a little late to my appointment so i have to make this quick also i am in a new car i did get a new car so i will show you guys that but i have to run into my nail appointment first so let's go inside let's see what we decide on Okay, I'm home now. We got sweet green for lunch. Bird made me a smoothie. Thanks, Bird. <laughs> and we're gonna do the nail reveal. All right, let's see it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, pretty. Oh, you got the little hearts. That's yeah. cute. I, this always happens where when I get my nails done, at first, I'm not sure if I like it. What? I like them. You like them? Yeah, I think it's cute. I'm going to pop up the reference photo so you guys can see what I showed them. It looks different from the reference photo. I think part of it, that's why I'm not sure if I like it. Because in the reference photo, the tips are rounded, but this one, like, they're more squared off like oh. that. And then the hearts are bigger, I think, in the reference photo. I like that the hearts are smaller here. You really? Yeah. I thought in the reference photos, the hearts were too big. Too big? Yeah. But then also this one, in the reference photo, it alternates between a heart and then upside down heart and then heart and then upside uh -huh. down heart. But then they only put the upside down heart on the index finger. Uh... See? Like this one is supposed to be upside down too. Uh, but they didn't do it and then i noticed after they did the first hand but then i was too shy to say anything uh, yeah it's cute though yeah I mean, you like yeah, it yeah i like them let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm always like this whenever i get my nails done at first i'm not sure if i like them but yeah. then they grow on me later i remember when we did it in taiwan and you were like i don't like these <laughs> and then later you're like i like them <laughs> okay expose me yeah. <laughs> anyway yeah, good we're gonna eat lunch also I do still need to show you guys the new car. I don't know if it'll be in this vlog or the next vlog because I'm pretty busy in the next coming days because we're about to leave to Disney World and I have lots of stuff to get done before we do that. But it will be coming. If not this vlog, then in a future vlog. And I also ordered some car accessories that I want to show you guys and I'm excited about it. Yeah, so far I've been loving the new car, but car tour coming later. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning vlog. Today is Lunar New Year. Woo! Woo! And we're wearing red. So I'm wearing my Mickey's Christmas sweater because it's like one of the only red things that I own. And I always wear it on Lunar New Year. But the color is very fitting for the occasion. However, the print, it's not the time. But anyway, <laughs> it's fine. And then Bird is wearing, what is this? Uh, like a jersey? I thrifted it. Yeah, but in college. But what is this like kind of style type thing called? Something. Okay. Shirt. It's not a shirt. Jersey it's like, thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's I like don't a vest. Jersey athletic vest. Athletic material, know. and it's like long sleeve, and 
It's a soccer something, right? It's for soccer? Or I no? don't know, but it's New Balance. Okay, it's New Balance. Okay, anyway, we are heading out because we are going to have lunch with my family. I have to actually pick up my grandma and then go to the restaurant, which is exciting because I haven't seen my grandma since last year. And we're also going to see my extended family and whatnot, so it should be fun. should be lots of good food. And then the rest of the day, we're kind of just getting ready because tomorrow at 5 a.m. we're flying to Florida to go to Disney World. And and since our flight is at 5 a.m., we have to get to the airport at 4 a.m. or by 4 a.m. E. <laughs> yeah, we're flying Southwest, so we even woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to check in. It was terrible. For the flight, yeah, it was not great. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we're kind of sleep deprived. But yeah, the rest of the day, gonna be packing. I think we're gonna maybe head to Target to pick up a few last minute things before our trip. And yeah. Should be fun. Yeah, should be fun. Let's go have lunch. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Hello vlog, we are back from lunch. It was really nice to see my family, especially my grandma, because it's been a long time since I've seen her. Like, I didn't see her on Christmas because I was sick. I didn't see her on Thanksgiving because I was in Asia. So the last holiday, I feel like before that was mid-autumn festival, which is September. So yeah, it's been a really long time and I just feel really close with my grandma because growing up, she used to come over every Monday through Friday and take care of me. And we just have a lot of memories together. She used to walk me to school every morning when I was in elementary school. We've just been really close my whole life. And so when I see her now, I just, I don't know, I cherish all the moments I have with her. And I think that they're really special. I do wish that I was better at Cantonese because, you know, she is not that good at English and I'm not very good at Cantonese. So whenever we talk, it's basically like her speaking Cantonese to me and then me replying in like really broken Cantonese plus English if I have to. And even then, sometimes she doesn't understand the English. And also even then my broken Cantonese, sometimes I don't communicate correctly. So yeah, it's kind of a struggle. It's the best when my mom is there so she can like translate between us so that I can ask her how she's doing and stuff. And yeah, it's just like a fun time. She's such a special person and I love her. So yeah, that just put me in a really good mood that I was able to see her. But yeah, also the food was really good. There were some dishes that I thought were like fine. Like the siumai ha gao, I thought were like standard nothing special but they did have this cheng fun the rice rolls and usually they have one that has yo tiao in it like this the fried chinese donut but this one they had the rice roll on the outside then the fried chinese donut and then shrimp stuffed inside like a shrimp paste type thing and it was so good that was like by far my favorite thing that we had at lunch a close second would be their bowl of bao, the pineapple bun stuffed with custard that was also really good. Those are my top two for sure. If you guys ever go there, East Ocean in Emeryville, you have to get those two things, like add dim sum. They're so good. But anyway, after that, we went to Target. I didn't really vlog because we were just like grabbing a few items that we needed for our travels. It was also really crowded, but yeah, we got some hand sanitizer, we got some wipes. I got some liquid IV, which I haven't really tried before. I tried it once because when I was at Lunar New Year at Disneyland, filming my friend robin who was helping me she brought some liquid iv so she let me try some of it but that was the only time i ever tried liquid iv but i'm actually excited to try more liquid iv because i feel like when i'm traveling it's actually such a good thing to bring with me because whenever i'm at home i drink a gallon of water a day and whenever i travel i cannot drink a gallon of water a day so i feel like liquid iv would help me in those scenarios but we got the watermelon flavor because that was the one that was the most intriguing to us so hopefully it's good then we also got like five tide pens we always keep these in our bags especially when I'm filming these come in handy because you know I feel like lately I've been kind of getting food dropped on my clothes I feel like in the past I've always been really really careful and I would barely ever get stains on my clothes but lately for some reason it's been happening a lot so definitely need these and then also recently I was brushing my hair and my brush literally snapped in half 
out of nowhere. I was just brushing it like normal and it snapped in half. So now at home, I'm using the brush that I usually pack with me to travel, which is the full size brush, but that means I have to get a travel brush. So I did get this. It's a wet brush and I thought it was cute. It's like a little leaf and it, you know, detangles. Although I feel like I'm gonna take some time to get used to using such a small brush because I have so much hair and it's so long. Speaking of which, I do think I'm gonna cut it, I don't know, hopefully next month. Yeah, it's not easy to brush my hair with this tiny comb. But anyway, I also got this top coat, Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel top coat. I don't really buy nail products. As you guys know, I don't, I just recently started getting my nails done, mostly for the engagement, but I'm trying to like keep it up because I have a horrible nail biting habit. And ever since I started getting my nails done, I haven't been biting my nails and my nails have never looked so good. So I feel like it's working pretty well, but the nails that I got a few days ago, they're already starting to like chip. Like if you see, it's already starting to chip here. So I don't know. I was gonna put another top coat on. I don't know. <laughs> I, I just figure maybe that will help it you know, not chip as easily. Anyway, another thing too, is that it wasn't until a few hours after I left the salon, but I realized that on my thumb, they forgot to put top coat. So all my other nails are like very smooth and shiny. And then this one, it's like matted. So they totally forgot to put top coat on my thumb. So I just bought top coat. So that way I could just do it myself because it's not worth going back to the salon just for them to paint my one nail with top coat. And I also don't have a lot of time before I have to leave. So anyway, all of that to say is we went to Target, picked up a few things. Oh, actually another thing. I did stop by Ulta because there's an Ulta in the same plaza as Target and I went to get my birthday freebie. So I ended up picking this, which is a first aid beauty, pure skin face cleanser, safe for sensitive skin. I've never tried it before, but I feel like I've heard good things about this and I wasn't really intrigued by the other options. I felt like personally, this was the best option, but they did have other skincare stuff. They also had other hair stuff to choose from. I'm so surprised because if I remember correctly in the past with birthday freebies with Ulta they didn't let you choose from different things like that was a Sephora thing where you could choose from a different packages for your birthday but Ulta used to be you just get like a set birthday item and I believe it would change every three months like every quarter of the year you would get a different birthday item just depending on what part of the year your birthday landed on <laughs> I hope what I'm saying is making sense. I'm just rambling. But anyway, I need to stop rambling because I really need to pack. We are going to Disney World tomorrow at 5 a.m., which I'm not really looking forward to. And since we have to get to the airport at 4 a.m., me and Bird were thinking that maybe we would just not even sleep because we usually sleep kind of late, like one at the earliest. So what's the point of going to bed at one and then waking up at like 3.30 and going to the airport by four? So we might just stay awake. <laughs> the whole time and just sleep on the plane. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I have to pack my Disney World outfits. I'm very excited. Let's get to packing. I'm almost done packing. I'm still working on it, but I've been packing for a few hours. So I got hungry. So me and Bird went to Shiling Taiwan Street Snacks, which we really like for whenever we're craving Taiwanese food. Today I got something that I've never tried there before, which is the Jiayi chicken rice. I just saw that they had a picture of it in their store, so I kind of was curious and wanted to try it. And then Bird. Yanzuji. Got popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. That's what we always get. I also like their um, fried oyster. No, not fried oyster. Yeah. Fried oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom. Okay. I also like to get their fried chicken fillet, like the XXL cutlet. chicken. Okay, chicken cutlet. Yeah. How da ji pai. How da ji pai. Yes, that is correct. And whenever we come here, Bird always orders in Chinese because he's trying to practice. Lian shi wo de zhong wen. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna eat. We're also watching the Warriors game. It's uh, on break right now, <laughs> or on commercial. But yeah, we're gonna eat. Kai, how do you Hello vlog, we are back at home. The Warriors won by one point. <laughs> it was a wild game. Like Curry made this crazy three at the end and it was just so fun to watch. But anyway, 
yeah, glad we won. Yay! <laughs> and then we came home and I'm pretty much done with packing. I just have to pack a few things that I can't pack up right now, like my laptop and my iPad and my hard drives because I'm doing some work right now, but I will be packing those before we leave. So I did like most of the essential packing, which packing always takes me a really long time. Let me know if you guys take a long time to pack or if you guys are quick packers because I feel like I used to be quick at packing, but as I've gotten older, I'm not as quick. But also part of it is that I have to pack like a bunch of gear and stuff. So that takes up a big chunk of time. But anyway, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. If you made it this far, comment below. Have fun at Disney World. Woo! <laughs> I'm literally so excited. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which will be Disney World. Bye!